couple of quick pictures. Here's what we're after. We really like to have some nice, uniformly spaced plants within the field. We want to avoid this. Odds are good we're going to get an ear out of two out of those three plants, but will they be the ideal ear that we'd really like to have? Did we just spend money we didn't need to spend in that situation? We had calibrated one side of the planter, went through the finger pickup units, made sure they were all working properly, and we calibrated it for seed size, and then left the other side of the planter in its original condition. And this is just the blow up of this section right in here. And you can see where we calibrated, we have seven fairly uniform, pretty nice, consistent ears. Down here in the bottom, we've got one completely with no kernels, and we've got two of them here that have lost about a third of their ear. The yield result in this particular field was about seven or eight bushels difference in yield, just by accurately placing that seed in the field. A big question that we get, at least in the United States, and I know you guys are having the conversation here, what ideal row spacing is there? And it's going to be different wherever you go in the world. We tend to see that as you move north, the narrower the row system, the better off we are with yields. Looking at population, average seeding rate of almost 31,000 seeds per acre. As we look at it by population ranges, is that populations are slowly going down in the high 20,000 ranges and they're going up as we get over 30,000 seeds per acre. A very consistent increase in population over the last 10 years. As we take this last part of the graph and dive into it just a little deeper and break it out to 30 to 33,000, 33 to 36 and 36 plus, we'll see again that they're starting to fall off in this lower range, but we're moving up higher and higher when we get up into these 35,000 seeds per acre range. Remember, yield is number of ears times the number of kernels per ear. 